We're in the middle of Texas. Have no idea. We've been driving for like for one hour. What city are we in? We are in Glen Rose, Texas. Glen Rose, Texas. All right. I do have a serious question, but very serious conversation. And I want you guys to comment below your opinion on this because I get tons of questions and I need answers. So right there, I see few roofs with a solar. You do over $20 million in business and I know you don't do solar. Why don't you do solar? Well, honestly, because as you saw, we do have multiple businesses. So when there's an opportunity, we want to jump on it. But we looked into solar several years ago. And for us, it was an ethical decision. We we looked at the math. We looked at uh, the fact that it's it almost appears as if the customer is just trading a payment for solar uh, or, or an electric bill. But by the time they pay that technology off in 25 years, the panels are either not operational anymore or not as efficient as they once were. And so then they're right back at square one again. And so uh, it was just an ethical decision. We didn't feel like uh, it was right for the customer. So financially, it doesn't make sense for them. So you don't feel like you're bringing that value for right. the dollar? I mean, we can make a ton of money. No question. Every roof, we, we put on over 750 roofs last year. If I sold every person or every fifth person solar, we could add millions to our docket. But I have to sleep at night, you know, and I answer to a higher power. <laughs> I love it. I love it and I love it. My name is Misha and I approve this message and you guys, <laughs> please think about that too. There's a lot of companies out there who are getting rich and I think greed is the main power, it's the main drive there because when sales guy gets six, eight thousand dollar commission selling forty, fifty thousand dollars by the way, a lot of those deals and be careful who you do business with. Like, you know, you big players like Titan and SVG has their platform. I'm not gonna throw anyone under the bus, but you know, read between the lines, read the contract, understand what consumer gets because you're putting your name on something that doesn't bring value to them. Sooner or later, you it will start affecting your reputation because when you're, I don't wanna say we're scamming people, but you, I don't know. Snake oil is a uh, uh, tactic is happening with the solar in the roofing uh, industry. And I, I would say, would you agree with me that, you know, roofing is tough and shady and there's many bad players, but solar is even shadier. It has even more of players. Yeah, and that's my opinion. It's not to knock the guys out there trying it. Just think about it, do the math and uh, ask yourself, uh, is there a better way to get to your end result uh, and be able to sleep at night? And if you did find someone who is doing it right and you're convinced and you have numbers, which numbers never lie, to support it, comment below. Mm -hmm. I will comment, interview anyone who does solar who can prove to me by numbers that it makes financial sense to the homeowner, Sorry. not only for you and your bottom. I want to talk to uh, him too. <laughs> love it. Comment below. Roofing Insights is looking for someone to recommend in a solar space. I'm yet to meet someone. And don't forget to like and share. <laughs> Love it.